A common question I get is, can you run selfie videos as ads on YouTube and make them work? The answer is absolutely you can, and I will show you how to do it properly. Hey guys, my name is Shash Singh, and welcome to my YouTube channel on how to run YouTube ads, how to scale an e-commerce business, and more. The answer to the question, can you run selfie ads on YouTube, is yes, but there is some context to this. Now, there are certain industries and certain niches where this is a great idea and others where it's not a great idea. For example, with e-commerce, you actually need to showcase your product, and that can be really hard to do when you're holding your camera like this with your you know, iPhone. You probably will need like a proper production and pro a proper video shoot for many e-commerce products. At the very least, you, you may want to do an unboxing video, which would require kind of like a, a static video. Now with e-commerce, we typically see higher production being associated with far better results. Now with info products, it's a lot easier because you're selling something intangible, so there's no physical product you need to showcase. It's literally the communication you're putting across. And when you do a selfie style video ad, often it's a lot more authentic than a professional production, right? When you see somebody doing a selfie style video ad, you typically don't think of them as some huge guru. You think of them as, oh, there's just this other person on the other side of the camera. You're not thinking of them as if they're you know, speaking to you from above, it feels like a more peer-to-peer -peer feeling about it. And because of this feeling of um, basically it being more authentic, selfie video ads do really well in the info product, course, and high ticket industries. So we've actually generated over $25 million in the high ticket and info niche, and we see that the script matters a lot more than the style of production, right? You can do really well with a selfie ad, you can do really well with a proper production, but what matters is the words you say and the order you say them in, right? What matters is basically what you convey and how you convey it. Now, there are some caveats to this. If you're selling to a more professional or older crowd, you'll often find that a more professional production makes sense. It may make sense to wear a suit and tie, etc. If you're selling to people in the older demographic, right, let's say the 50 to 70 range, that population is more inclined to trust people that you know have the typical markers of status, like having a nice suit, being in a some sort of doctor's outfit, etc. Um, just because of the fact that you know older generations they're looking for something more professional, while you know younger generations like millennials, we have a completely different way of, of dressing, and we have completely different things when we look for trust. Millennials, in many cases, would rather trust a guy in a T-shirt rather than some slick-looking guy in a suit. That's purely down to the fact that it's a generational thing. Nowadays in workplaces, it's okay to wear casual clothing and people actually rebel against formal clothing. So that's something to keep in mind. Because of that, um, with the millennials, typically selfie style often works better because it's more casual, you know, selfie style in a t-shirt, while higher production with a suit, with a green screen and so on may work better with an older crowd. Now, obviously you want to test this with your own offer, but I'm basically showing you the caveats and kind of the context behind this. Now, it also depends on the industry, right? Like if you're looking at something like, you know, the music industry or the fitness industry, then people would probably not want to see somebody in a suit. On the other hand, if you're selling to accountants or lawyers, then yeah, appearing like you're very professional could actually have a big impact in those industries. So if I was selling a B2B software to accountants, I'd probably have a proper production and have everybody wear suits. While if I'm selling a fitness course, I would do selfie style ads, which have done really well in the fitness niche. Now here are the key tips to pull off a really great selfie YouTube ad. The first is to make sure you're in a quiet environment and you have a mic. Great audio is really, really important and I can't overstate how important it is that you need to have really good audio. For example, I have a great mic right now. I'm not shooting in a loud place. It's super key to make sure your audio is done well. It's also really important that if you're shooting with your phone and you don't have a mic, that you do it in a quiet place. For example, if you're on the beach and you're shooting with an iPhone, you're probably not gonna be able to hear yourself really well because of the waves crashing. Now the second thing, if you're doing a selfie style ad with your phone, is you wanna make sure you don't have shaky hands. So for example, if I'm taking an ad with this, 
my hands are shaky, which is why I usually have my friends do it and I don't usually do selfie style ads. Now there are stabilizers you can buy, but you're kinda starting to defeat the purpose of selfie ad when you're like adding so much to it, right? So that's something that's important. If you're a person with super shaky hands, you need to be careful with that and you know, quite honestly, a proper camera like this may work better for you. Now the third thing is to make sure your lighting is really good. This is essential because if you don't have great lighting, your ad will look really bad. So you wanna make sure the light is on your face. You wanna make sure you're looking into the light instead of the light being behind you because then your face is going to look really dark and it's just gonna look really bad. And what I've noticed is when ads are in a dark environment, they typically have lower click-through rates because, you know, number one, it comes off as depressing. Number two, you can't really see the speaker that well. So when it's well lit, it's just much better. Now, an advanced move is to actually move and shoot the ad. So when you're moving and shooting a selfie ad, you're just gonna do so much better. Now, recently I saw an ad where the guy was moving through his apartment with his camera and it was just, something that really caught my attention because of how fluid it was and how stable he held the camera and basically made the ad connect a lot more because that motion makes it a lot easier to just focus on the speaker, right? It adds a little bit of spice to the video ad that usually makes people watch the ad with more engagement. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now if you want to learn how to shoot and script YouTube ads, I actually have a video on how to script YouTube ads. There'll be a link above or below. Now go watch that video and smash the like and subscribe button so I can keep making more videos for you guys.